guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven, as you know. Um, starting a four-day trip today. We're flying to Chicago, then we're flying to Tampa. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to be really bumpy. We're going to have a short respite to do service real quick, but the rest of the flight, uh, the seatbelt sign is going to be on. So that either means it's going to be an easy flight or a stressful flight because everyone's going to be hopping up to use the bathroom. Uh, but um, I think that is it. The day started off fairly easy. Uh, I did forget my coffee. I made cold brew uh, and I made this extra little milk, sugar, coffee kind of thing and put it in my Contigio. Oh, we're boarding. Oh, we're boarding. I'll talk to you later. Hi, it's me from the future. <laughs> I was just editing editing this video and I realized I never finished the story about the Contigio. So I made this cold brew like 24 hours. It took 24 hours to make this cold brew. I mixed it in with milk and sugar and made this delicious concoction. It was so good. I put it in my Contigio um, insulated uh, little cup and um, I left it on a piece of cat furniture before I left the house that's sitting on top of one of the cat trees when I left the house. I know it's going to be knocked over by the time I get home, you know, gone for a couple of days. But these Contigio um, insulated tumblers are amazing. You could throw these things across the room and they don't leak. So if I had to leave anything full of coffee um, out to be knocked over, thank God it's that Contigio. Um, so I'm sorry. I wanted to finish that story without you going like, Stephen, what were you going to tell us? It's not terribly interesting, but I wanted to finish the story. All right, guys. So we just arrived in Chicago. And I don't know what I was going to tell you. Just as we were starting to board, I know I was telling you something. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. We had 114 passengers on board today. The time was two hours and 57 minutes, something. It was just under three hours from Vegas to um, Chicago. The flight was fantastic. Our passengers were great. Uh, lots of little babies, lots of beautiful little well-behaved babies. Uh, and we have a great crew. In fact, someone on our crew, it's funny, his employee number is so junior. He is like super junior. He was, I think, in the third to the last class before COVID hit. So, uh, you know, his, he's got one of, the, one of the most junior numbers, but he's got recurrent coming up in January already. He's already been here almost a year. It's fantastic. So uh, it was kind of funny because he sat down and gave me a couple pieces of chocolates, Robson, you, and um, he was just super flattering and very sweet and very nice and said some nice things because he watches my channels. I hope, I hope he's watching this one. Um, and so I want to say hi and say thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, so the flight was good. The flight was really good. Um, Captain, our flight, our, our first officer, are awesome. Just a just a real joy. Really, really good. Just one more reminder how much I love my job. The next flight from Chicago to Tampa is uh, we only have like seven open seats from what, what I think uh, I remember seeing. The only thing I'm worried about in Tampa is the fact that the uh, the hotel shuttle stops running at midnight. And we are blocked to come in at 1126. And I'll tell you, there's no chance that we could deplane, get to the uh, air, the shuttle, the, the train, the tram, to the terminal, get to the shuttle by midnight. So I'm kind of hoping we get there a little bit early I've encouraged our position C, who's, uh, it's like an unwritten rule. They're the ones that uh, usually call for the hotel shuttle. So I've asked him to uh, be a little proactive in calling maybe before we're actually, um, you know, off, um, out of the terminal. So we'll see what happens because uh, getting a, a taxi is just a hassle. Um, they don't get, we don't pay them. The hotel pays them and they know it and, and the tip. I don't know if the hotel tips, honestly, so I just want the shuttle. All right, so I'm gonna get a little snackaroo before this next flight and uh, I'll see you in Tampa. Oh, man, 
What a nice day at work. Just two really good flights. Wonderful passengers. I'll tell you about that when I get back to the hotel, but we're hoofing it to the shuttle, which I think we're gonna make, which is nice. Otherwise, we'd have to get a couple of taxis. Not good. All right, I'll see you at the airport, at the hotel. I can't even talk. So we ran and ran and ran to get the shuttle. It's not here yet, so we're just kind of farting around, waiting for the shuttle. Um, flying with a, uh, a co-worker who, oh, this light, look at me. Um, I think her name is Jamie, and, and she's uh, she deadheaded on this flight from Chicago to Tampa. And it's funny, she's like, oh, uh, she and her boyfriend both watch my videos. If you're watching, hi. And uh, she's like, oh, my boyfriend was just talking about your cat, Claire. And I'm like... He watches your videos. I'm like, well, if he's if he's really a fan, he watches my videos. How does he spell Claire's name? And he, she goes, C L A R E. I'm like, oh my god. And she goes, Does, don't you call her Claire Bear sometimes? I'm like, <laughs> you guys remember everything. Um, so I was I was uh, rushing out here to get the shuttle, uh, and I was telling you that the flights were really nice. We had the best people up in front they were lovely i mean just a great time um uh, and it just makes the day uh, a relatively long day so much nicer um lots of great kids on board just 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 a wonderful wonderful day um so this is just another another reminder how much i love my job all right so i will talk to you guys once i get back to the hotel I just got in my room here in Tampa and I just saw a little, can you see it? There's a little cat either looking for food or looking for a place to stay warm. Oh, honey, it's probably looking for food. Oh, the heartbreak I feel. Look at the poor thing looking around. Hmm, I feel so bad. Hey guys, hi, welcome to Tampa. Uh, we did land a few minutes early, and then as you saw, I think I filmed, we were hustling to the shuttle pickup spot, and then we got there in a hurry to wait for a while. Uh, there's a bit of construction, I guess, going on near the airport, so the shuttle was a little delayed, but that's okay. I'm in this room. Um, it's hard to see right now because of the lighting on being lit by a table lamp, uh, but I really like the color scheme of this room. Um, you can't tell and I'll show you tomorrow. It's like a dark charcoal with an interesting texture and the curtains are just like a, a slate color. Really neat. I like it with a lot of cream. It's very pretty. Um, one day when I have a house, maybe I'll do something like this. Um, yeah, just a really nice day. Good crew, great passengers. Uh, the day started out about 1215, which is our check-in and, uh, it's about... Well, it's it's um, 1244 in the morning here in the East Coast. So it's about almost 10 o'clock in Las Vegas. So it was a fairly long day. But again, if you have a great crew and great guests and our flight crew was amazing, super, super nice. Um, yeah, you really just can't beat it. You can't beat it. It was a really good day to be a flight attendant. Um, every day is a good day to be a flight attendant. Um, so I think my goal tonight is just to watch a little bit more YouTube. I've been binge watching East Idaho News, uh, Secret Santa. And I'll tell you, I think I've mentioned this yesterday, but if you love to cry, you gotta go watch these videos. They're so touching, really. They do such a wonderful job at selecting the right people, uh, for, for these gifts. Um, speaking of doing good things. I want to remind you guys that I do have a giveaway for two Hot Logic Minis. I'm going to give them away. I'm going to announce the winners on New Year's Day. Um, I have two Hot Logic Minis I'm giving away, a red one and a pink one. If you have already heard this, I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm going to say it a few times so that enough people hear. But uh, to enter into the giveaway, you don't have to do anything like subscribe to my channel, although I would like you to. Uh, you don't have to follow me anywhere else on any social media platform. But I am going to ask you to do one thing, and it's a little bit more work actually than subscribing to a uh, an Instagram um, channel or whatever but uh, I'm gonna ask you guys if you want to enter into the giveaway do something kind patient 
loving, generous of any in any sort of way. It doesn't have to uh, mean anything financially driven, doesn't have to have anything to do with money, but just do something kind, patient, loving, or generous for somebody else who's maybe in a position who's just having a hard time. We're all having a hard time this year. Uh, but some people are just being hit a little harder than others. So if you can do something nice for somebody else, again, it doesn't have to be financially driven. Um, you know, just spend some time with somebody who's having a difficult day or or volunteer time somewhere or whatever. You, you know what you have to do. Do something nice for somebody. Go to my community tab. Go to my channel, my YouTube channel. Go to the top, scroll over, and you're going to see the word community. Click on that, and there's a post where I'm talking about my, my giveaway, um, under that post, leave a comment and tell me a little bit about what you did that was not just me, because you know, so many of my subscribers, and I, now I call you guys my friends, so many of my friends read those comments and there's a lot of interaction between, you know, um, between you guys in the comment section. So leave a comment below as to what you did um, and uh, I'll and let me know if you want a red or a pink one or if either will do. Um, or if you don't want one of the Hot Logic minis but did something nice anyway. Um, leave a comment, all right? I'm looking forward to it. You guys are just amazing. The things you've been writing have been really um, touching and I'm, I'm thrilled that, uh, and I know you're not doing these things just to win a Hot Logic Mini, because I know you guys, and you're just loving people. So, thank you. Um, all right, so enough of that. I'm going to watch some more, <laughs> some more East uh, Idaho Secret Santa, so I can cry a little bit more before I go to bed. I love to cry. Um, and then uh, I have some food in my Hot Logic Mini. I will set that up to eat, and then. I think that's it for the night. I'm going to just uh, enjoy the rest of the night here. My layover is about 20 hours. Uh, we're taking the 4.30 shuttle tomorrow afternoon. And that's it. That's it. So it's Vlogmas Day 17 uh, is over. And uh, there you go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great night and fly safe. All right. Bye.